You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Is you are able to have a absurd, absurd breadth of product, and there's so much more depth where you can find a jacket in a store and it might not be in your size, so they'll have to transfer it in for you, something along those lines, and it's not instant gratification. Where online, you can have five billion options out there for you know the jacket of your dreams, and you know with Amazon, you can get it in two days. So it's really truly changing the instant gratification for the shopper. And that was coming from the brick and mortar, that is where it is a little bit more difficult, is that in store, people tend to be a little bit more price resistant, is that they know, I, can, I don't want to purchase the same item in two separate sizes because it seems frivolous. But when it's online and you know that you can return something so easily, it doesn't seem as frivolous. Like one of the first places that had the problem with um, being a kind of a showroom was Best Buy, is that they were known as Amazon's showroom. Um, but then now it has truly moved into all realms of retail, is that it really, you can buy anything online now. And so there are many people that, you know, want to touch and feel something, but they might not want to have to schlep around a shopping bag if, say, if they're in San Francisco. I definitely think that it is, brick and mortars are never going to go away. Is that the do pe people do love the fact that you can go in and touch and feel, and especially with fashion, is that you need to be able to feel the textiles. It's a very important part of clothing. So with that, I do not believe that brick and mortar are going anywhere. It's just that brick and mortar need to be able to understand that the the retail atmosphere is changing and that they do really need to have an online presence as well is that places like Macy's who are you know the retail giant everyone tries to have their same business model they've understood that having an online presence and being able to have clients purchase things online and then have the ease of walking into the store if it doesn't work doing an exchange or doing a return so it does definitely help. And then with that aspect is the fact that they are able to sell something online. Heaven forbid they have to return or exchange it. Then it's that second time that they're able to get the client in the doors and they might have make a second purchase. So for them, it's only expanding their business. It might take the technology, the time and the resources initially, but it's only going to help them in the long run.